You're watching WKYT News at Noon. And good afternoon to you. The news continues now at 12.30. Bill Bryan and Barbara Bailey here. The Commonwealth versus Governor Matt Bevin went in front of a judge for the first time earlier today. Attorney General Andy Bashir sued the governor, saying he overstepped his authority when he ordered mid-year budget cuts to state colleges. Governor Bevin says he acted within the law, and he wants the lawsuit to be dismissed. WKYT's Hillary Thornton is live in Frankfurt with our top story at 12:30. Good afternoon. An agreement from both sides to set aside the funds made from these cuts. The biggest thing that Attorney General Andy Bashir says came out of the hour-long hearing. It was a hearing in which the attorneys for the governor argued to have the case dismissed. This all started a couple of weeks ago when Governor Matt Bevin ordered a 4.5% spending cut for public colleges and universities without waiting for the legislature's approval. Attorney General Andy Bashir sued Bevin, calling his cuts illegal and unconstitutional. After Bevin met with education leaders this week, he restored some of their funding, reducing those cuts to 2%. Now, Bevin's counsel arguing today in the courtroom that the lawsuit is premature, also explaining various statutes they claim allow the governor's actions. Meanwhile, the attorney general sticking to his claims that the governor has overstepped his authority. While Bevin was not in the courtroom, two of his co-defendants were. Bashir was asked about Bevin's absence. The Constitution is important enough to me to where I was going to be here. Uh, and I think that it's critical for the attorney general to stand up to anybody who claims power uh, that is not given to them under that Constitution. We have a separation of powers to protect our liberty. Attorney General Bashir says this was just the first step in what will be a process. So, however, he says he does not think it will be a long process. The judge backed up that statement, saying he does plan to make a ruling in the next 10 to 15 days. Live in Frankfurt, Hillary Thornton, WKYT. Hillary, thank you. And both sides will now submit briefs on the motion to dismiss. After the judge reviews those, they'll reconvene. We're tracking a developing story in Lexington. Police are investigating after a student at Bryan Station was stabbed by another student with a pocket knife. Police and fire crews were called to the school around 11 o'clock. In an email to parents, the principal said the student received non-life-threatening injuries and that the other student has been charged with assault. The school says it was an isolated incident and no other students were in any danger. Well, she was shot in the face and left to die, but a Pulaski County woman was in court this morning as a judge sentenced the father and son accused of robbing and shooting her to prison. Mark and Timothy Showalter went to the wrong house when they were looking to steal drugs last year. Allison Beauclair was shot when she told them that she didn't have any. WKYT's Phil Pendleton talked with her after today's hearing. Phil? Allison Beauclair says that she feels she is lucky to be alive, and she says that Timothy and Mark Showalter showed up at her house by mistake, thinking that she had drugs on that day in May of last year. Mark held a gun to her head, demanded drugs, and when she didn't produce any, she was shot in the face. Now, Beauclair says she still has $18,000 in medical bills to pay. Her life will never be the same. Timothy Showalter pleaded guilty to burglary and his father, Mark, to assault first. Tim was sentenced to eight years in prison, and Mark received 12 years. I'm glad it's over. I really am, and he needs to go to prison. I don't understand what he was talking about. His, he didn't understand his PSI or whatever, but it, he didn't even say he was sorry. You know, at least he could say sorry. It was an accident. He shot me on purpose. Now, the judge did include the $18,000 to be paid back to Beauclair in restitution when Mark Showalter is released from prison. At one point during the sentence, Mark Showalter started arguing with the judge, claiming that the shooting was just a big accident. In Pulaski County, Phil Pendleton, WKYT. Phil, thank you. Mark Showalter was charged with attempted murder, but he pleaded guilty to a lesser charge of assault first. We're learning new details today about a deadly shooting in Powell County. State police say 32-year-old Melissa Roberts shot and killed 39-year-old Stephen Strange after he confronted her in her house last night. Today, we've learned the two had an estranged relationship, and sheriff's deputies say Roberts had an EPO out on him. As of now, she does not... She does not face charges, but the investigation continues. 
Still no arrest in a shooting last night in Nicholas County. The sheriff says a man was shot inside a home on Gravel Road near Route 36 in Moorefield. The sheriff says the victim was airlifted to UK Hospital. His name and condition have not been released. Investigators say the shooter fired the gun from inside a car. Now, right now, we're told they have no suspects. Well, a scary morning for a worker at a Winchester business. The police say a robber pointed a gun right at her during a robbery. It happened at the Cash Advance America on Bypass Road. WKYT's Mark Barber has the surveillance pictures of the suspect in this Crime Tracker report. Winchester police think the man that robbed the Cash Advance business could be desperate and willing to do anything because he hit the store in the middle of the morning. Officers want you to take a look at his face because he could still be in the area. He appears to either be Hispanic or a light skinned black male. He's got a goatee. Uh, he was last seen wearing a gray hooded sweatshirt with Nike across the chest and a black uh, Chicago white socks uh, hat. The robber walked into Advance America on Bypass Road before 10 o'clock, pulled out a gun, and told the woman working behind the counter to start handing over cash. The employee was not hurt. But she is shaken. The armed man took off after he got what he wanted. Police think he parked nearby and then drove off because they have not been able to find him. We're reviewing all the video from surrounding businesses to see if we can see him uh, either uh, in a vehicle or leaving the scene on foot. While investigators are hoping that nearby cameras will show them where the robber went, they're hoping someone taking a look at his picture right now will recognize him. They say a tip from someone like you could help them find the man who they consider armed and dangerous. In Clark County, Mark Barber, WKYT. Now, police say businesses like Advance America that deal with a lot of cash are always targets for robbers. Officers tell us this robbery is a reminder that it is always wise to cooperate with a robber. There was a special donation this morning by students at a Richmond Middle School to honor a police officer who was killed in the line of duty. Officer Daniel Ellis was gunned down during a robbery investigation last November. Clark Moore's Middle School donated money from a student council project to the police department. That money will be used to help fund a trip to the National Law Enforcement Memorial in Washington, D.C. next month. The school presented the check to police today. Obviously, that means... So much to us that these these kids who probably have never met uh, never met me and met, never met a lot of the officers before they've probably just seen us doing school walkthroughs um, that they chose us and that means a whole heck of a lot to us. Officer Ellis will be remembered during Police Week at the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial in D.C. A reminder that patients who undergo laparoscopic surgery to lose weight still need to watch what they eat. Also, it turns out aspirin may help patients beat cancer. It's all coming up in Better Living on WKYT. The rain is still well back toward the west, but it will move through as we go throughout the rest of the afternoon off into the evening. I'll show you timing on this hour by hour coming up. Families are about good times, making special memories together. And it all starts at Bluegrass RV. At Bluegrass RV, we're all about indoor comfort for your family's outdoor adventures. And we offer payments so low that you can afford the family fun all year long. So come see us on North Broadway in Lexington and let the good times begin. Family memories start at Bluegrass RV. Save now with Ashley Home Store's lowest prices of the season. This week, buy one, get one 50% off store-wide. Buy this nail head trim sectional and get this queen sleigh bed half off. Now only $4.99. 50% off deals for every room. Ashley Home Store. This is home. At Frankfurt Toyota, we have new 2016 Camrys. Up to $3,900 off MSRP or 0% financing for 60 months. New 2016 Corollas and RAV4s. Up to $2,200 off MSRP or 0% financing for 60 months. And we'll double your no-cost maintenance to four years or 50,000 miles. Frankfurt Toyota, Google rated 4.9 out of 5 stars. Frankfurt Toyota and online at frankfurttoyota.com. Bring on the competition. A fistful of crayons and a forecast full of yuck. Bring on soccer balls, winter blues, and barbecues. Bring it all on. You've got durable, affordable Olympic on your team. Bring on the competition. <coughs> Nicole, you got a cough this winter? May I suggest? Tough love. 
Menthol Lip Dissolves with big time Kool Aid flavor. Or Soft Love. Milder flavored honey halls with real honey. Tough love. Soft love. Get the love you love. Enjoy 0% financing for five years and free TVs with your qualifying purchase at Sleep Outfitters. Get this Sealy Pillow Top Queen set with gel foam on sale now for just $4.99 plus a free TV. Save hundreds on a special purchase of Tempur-Pedic adjustable bases while they last. 0% financing for five years, free TVs, store-wide savings, and save hundreds on Temper Ergo adjustable foundations. Only at Sleep Outfitters. Hurt in a car accident? We got you covered. All I did was call. Doesn't cost anything to call. All you do is call. 800-800-4600. What are you waiting for? 800-800-4600. Come on now. Kentucky's 40th Annual Shriners Hillbilly Days Festival, April 21st through 23rd in Pikeville, Kentucky. Three live stages of music, carnival rides, 300 vendors, a car show, and the Shriners Parade Saturday. The 40th Annual Hillbilly Days Festival, April 21st through 23rd in Pikeville, Kentucky. Save now with Ashley Home Store's lowest prices of the season. This week, buy one, get one 50% off store-wide. Buy this nail head trim sectional and get this queen sleigh bed half off, now only $4.99. 50% off deals for every room. Ashley Home Store. This is home have something that needs investigating, email us or call the WKYT Investigates tip line. Now, your hour-by-hour -hour forecast with meteorologist Micah Harris. Cloudy skies out and about and no real rain chance in the forecast for the next hour or two, but after that is when that rain slides on in. So that's what we're going to be watching. That 3 or 4 p.m. time frame to about 9. That's when you can expect some of this rain to move on in. Now, it's not a lot of rain. Could you get a heavy downpour? Yeah, it's possible. For the most part, just don't expect a lot of rain out of this. 70 degrees there in Lexington, and that goes for Danville and Somerset. We'll finish off in the mid 70s across Bluegrass. Really, if you go I 75 and back toward the west, right there around mid 70s, and then over toward the east southeast, you're actually getting some sunshine over toward the east southeast in some parts. So that's why you're already in the mid 70s. So we'll finish off anywhere from 75 to about 80 degrees. It's going to be hit and miss with those showers. And even a couple of rumbles of thunder. But if you have some ball games later on this afternoon and evening, just know out of the ball field, I would stick to them. I would still go, but just know that you could have some rain moving over you later on tonight. So here's your look on Friday. So tomorrow you still have that rain chance. It's at about 60%. Today's 40%. Tomorrow 60%. It does fade as we work our way through the evening and night. And that's spotty too, meaning it's here and there. It's not one line passing on through. So some of us will get away from actually getting in on that rain. Saturday, awesome day. You're talking about sunny skies and also Highs right there in the 70s. And then we take our, our, our story off towards Sunday. And the story of the weekend is just how nice it's going to be. It'll be fantastic. Great weather there for the weekend, both Saturday and Sunday. I see no problems whatsoever in the forecast. I'm going to show you these pictures, really, really awesome pictures on Twitter. If you have your phone in your hand, hop on Twitter and follow me at Micah Harris WX. Send me your pictures. I love showing these off. I mean, these are great pictures. Scott Feltner sent this one in from Somerset down in Pulaski County. These were yesterday. And then look at this. Klingman's Dome. How cool is that shot? What an incredible vantage point. Phil Page sent that one in. Phil, Scott, we appreciate it very much, guys. Always sending in great pictures. Seven-day forecast today and tomorrow, guys. Uh, that's when you have that chance of rain. I talked about this earlier, that it's just going to clean that air out. That's kind of what a lot of us need. I know I can speak for myself that, yeah, it's killing me right now. These sinuses, you know, pollen in the air. So hopefully it'll clear it out and then leave us for a nice weekend. The weekend looks great. Feels great, too. All right. All right. You got a deal. Thank okay. you. All Absolutely. right. Thank you, Micah. <laughs> well, aspirin may be helpful for cancer patients, and people who have laparoscopic stomach surgery still need to watch what they eat. Marley Hall has details in this Better Living report. Aspirin may help patients beat cancer. New research shows low-dose aspirin increases cancer survival rates up to 20% and can also help prevent some cancers from spreading. And people who undergo laparoscopic stomach surgery to lose weight still need to be diligent about their eating habits. Researchers say patients had the best weight loss outcomes when they weighed themselves weekly, stopped eating when full, and did not eat continuously during the day. That's a look at some of the day's top health stories. Marley Hall, CBS News, New York. Well, coming right up, it's a triathlon that combines fitness and fun, and it's for kids. The Kids Legacy Tri, next on WKYT.
With more selection and savings, you can stop and smell more roses at Meyer. I love grocery shopping at Kroger, but sometimes life gets busy. So I use ClickList. It's easy. I just order online. And with thousands of great items and fresh food to choose from, I can get what I want the way I want it, then pick up my order at the store without ever leaving my car. And for me, that's a game changer. Order online, pick up curbside at store. We think you're going to love ClickList. Try it now at Kroger.com slash ClickList. Frustrated with your overactive bladder medicine not working? Can't handle the side effects? Botox treats symptoms of leaking, going too often, and the strong sudden need to go. Ask your urologist if Botox can help calm your bladder and reduce your daily leakage episodes. The effects of Botox may spread hours to weeks after injection, causing serious symptoms. Alert your doctor right away as difficulty swallowing, speaking, breathing, eye problems, loss of bladder control, or muscle weakness can be a sign of a life-threatening condition. Don't take Botox if you can't empty your bladder on your own or have a urinary tract infection or UTI. Side effects may include allergic reactions, injection site pain, fatigue, UTI, painful urination, and difficulty emptying your bladder. Tell your doctor your medical history. Muscle or nerve conditions, medications including botulinum toxins, antiplatelets, and blood thinners may increase the risk of serious side effects. Ask a urology specialist if Botox can help calm your bladder. Visit BotoxOAB.com and learn how Botox can be a low-cost option. What's behind your Murphy door? A game room, office, playroom, or valuables. The Murphy door holds up to 300 pounds and is completely functional even when the shelves are full. All Murphy doors feature a patented hinge or roller system that's backed by a lifetime warranty, providing you functional space and peace of mind for years to come. Build your Murphy door online today or visit our new showroom in Lexington, now located on Fortune Drive. Visit themurphydoor.com. Use promo code LEX5 to receive 5% off. Wouldn't it be great to know what your car payment will be before you visit the dealership? Thanks to Your Deal, Your Way, now available exclusively at PaulMillerMazda.com, you can pick your payment and negotiate the best price for your new Mazda. This is the easy, convenient, and private way to get your deal your way. Visit PaulMillerMazda.com to get the deal you love online. Your deal, your way. Points, click, save. PaulMillerMazda.com. Sawyer, you're in. Me? Yeah, playing shortstop. Hey, hey, ball, ball. With more selection and savings, you get more brushes with glory at Meyer. Welcome back. Great to have you with us on WKYT News. Triathletes who swim, bike, and run are not just adults. Many are children and teenagers. For the fifth year, the Kids Legacy Tri will be held at the club at Spindletop Hall on June 5th. It's for kids 6 to 14 years old. And joining us now to talk about all the fun and fitness is Haley Pugel with McDonald's of Central and Southeastern Kentucky. That's the presenting sponsor. And two children who will be in this triathlon, Willow Pierce making her third appearance and rookie Luke Greiser. We want to welcome everybody. Good to see you. Glad you're here. Willow, that is so impressive. Your third year. How do you get ready for all of this? Um, I go to the Y and I swim with my mom. Um, I run at home and I ride my bike. All right. So you're in training, right? Luke, this is your first triathlon. Why did you decide to do this? Well, um, I've always been into sports, and um, my parents told me about um, the Kids Legacy Try that was going to be going on at Spindletop, which um, is the club that I always swim at. So um, I talked about it with my parents, and they decided to sign me up. You figure it's going to be right there. You might as well do it, right? Yeah, it's I guess taken so. a, a lot of effort to get ready, though, right? You've uh -huh. been practicing up. Yeah, I have been practicing. I live in Georgetown, so I've been going to the Pavilion Center and been swimming laps there. It'll be worth the effort, I'm sure. Now, Willow, what's your favorite part of the triathlon? Um, I like the running. The running? Because I like to run to the finish. All right. And Luke, what about you so far? Um, biking, even though it takes the longest. Uh huh. Well, that's interesting. A Haley, talk about McDonald's involvement, how you really do make it special for the kids. Yeah, so as presenting sponsor, we're able to provide professional um, timing and then also give them medals and um, age group awards and then also a post race party. And then participants are also going to get these awesome t shirts and medals. 
Um, and then we also help to implement safety through poolside doctors and certified lifeguards, as well as dozens of volunteers. Just some ways to make it extra special. That's right, so, absolutely. Right. Uh, if uh, the kids want to register or their parents want to inquire about uh, uh, what's going on, how do they yeah, do that? You can register through June 1st online at kidslegacytry.com. Very good. All right. You, are you ready to go now or you still need more training? Um, we're still training. Almost yeah. ready. And going to okay, stay in shape for the big day, right? Okay. Thank you very thank much you. for coming in. Good luck and enjoy. All right, thank you. Coming next, planting trees for Earth Day. And in the process, helping teach students about the importance of the American chestnut. Next on WKYT. Hello everyone, Amber Canoy here for MomsEveryDay.com. I've got Susan Stone, the president of Frontier Nursing University with me today. And why should women out there consider using a nurse midwife? Well, nurse midwives are providing a more non-interventive type of care. And really one of the best things about nurse midwife, if women really want to know about their care and have choices about their care, one of the focuses is, is educating women so that they can, have, they can make their own decisions about how they want their birth to go and, and how they want their experience to be. And they can also use them for primary care. It's not just pregnancy. Oh, that's right. Nurse midwives are educated to provide care to women across the lifespan. So a lot of times it t starts with teenagers and onward uh, all the way to menopause and beyond. So yes, that's right. All right. And for more information, you all can go online to MomsEveryDay.com. Satisfy the hero in you with the McCafe coffee starting at $1. Join me, Denny Crum. And me, Joe B. Hall. For the biggest hearing event of the year. Do you hear but don't understand? Do you struggle to hear in noise? We want 300 people to take the 10-day challenge. Call the number below to evaluate the latest invisible hearing technology. One week only at all of our convenient locations. Hearing Solutions, helping you listen to what you're missing. Step right up for something fun. For just a buck, the excitement's begun. The game's called Kino, and you can play it in an alley. Or you can play it with your best friend, Sally. You can play it here or there. You can play it almost anywhere. Play with many numbers or just a few. How you play is all up to you. You can put down a little or put down a lot. So what do you say? Give Kino a shot. Just pick your numbers and hope you win. And a few minutes later, you can play it again. Now you can play Kino wherever Kentucky Lottery games are sold. Fueling imagination. Funding education. The new Money Monopoly game is at McDonald's with 100 million food and cash prizes. 100 million prizes? That's more prizes than all the Scottish Terriers in the U.S. Yeah, I just won 50 bucks. 100 million prizes. One in four wins. You could be the one. Get WKYT news and weather updates on 100.1 WKQQ. Welcome back in to WKYT News. Uh, we have a report in at the moment, and it's uh, not normal for us to go with something that we do not have complete confirmation on our own of, but the website TMZ reporting mm -hmm. right now the death of Prince, the artist uh, known as Prince. Who... 57 years old. Yeah. Uh, so, of course, we will continue to bring you more information, WKYT.com, and on our newscast as the day goes along as well. He was for a time known as Prince, and the artist formerly known as Prince, and then Prince again. But uh, very sad news, and certainly had a tremendous string of uh, big hits in the 80s Absolutely, and 90s. Absolutely, a great influence. Yeah. The goal is to plant a thousand American chestnut saplings tomorrow in celebration of Earth Day. We're joined by Jennifer Coslow, Assistant Professor of Plant Ecology at EKU and Forestry Consultant Rex Mann to learn more about the event taking place tomorrow at EKU. And we do thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having us. Why the emphasis on the American chestnut? The American chestnut, real quickly, was a major tree 
in all of the eastern forests. Uh, maybe one tree out of every four was an American chestnut. A blight, an introduced disease, wiped it out beginning about 1904. So we're, our mission is to restore that So tree. there were enough of them around to at least carry mm -hmm. on, right? They still sprout. Yep. We're being able, we have a fairly complicated crossing program mm -hmm. using the American trees and the Asian trees, close relatives that are resistant and ending up with a tree that looks like American chestnut, but it's blight resistant, that grows like American chestnut. Jennifer, I love the fact that Rex calls this a mission. You really want to inspire a lot of school kids about this as well. Tell us about the event tomorrow. Absolutely. So tomorrow we're going to have volunteers and employees come to plant 1,200 of these seedlings and we're hoping to get as many people from the public as possible um, and we'll have a dedication at 1.30 tomorrow. But if anyone wants to participate, they could check the web page at EKU's events page or their stories page to find out more details. And they're welcome to come out and, and join in the experience. Now Absolutely. these the plants that you brought out here, the trees, uh, yes. are a year old, is that right? Tell yeah. us about those. These are one year old seedlings. These are the type of trees we'll be planting tomorrow. And Jennifer says we're planting 1,200 of them. This is the beginning of a major orchard that will be established at Eastern Kentucky University that eventually will help produce nuts to restore the chestnut. Wonderful. To Kentucky's So forest. pretty organized event mission. tomorrow where you're helping it people to, to do it, I, I would take it, right? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can't drive right out to the site itself, yeah. but visitors are welcome to come park at the Perkins lot, and then we'll have shuttles to take people out to the site. Over by the right. mulch track. I know where and, that is. And of course, <laughs> we want to know what the weather's going to be like for that event. Micah, can you help us out? Yeah, it looks like we're going to see rain today and tomorrow. It's small chance, well, not small chances, but decent chances, but it's not widespread. It's not everybody sees that. Then the weekend looks pretty good, guys. All right. Thank you so much for being with us for WKYT News at Noon. Updates always at WKYT.com. Hope you have a great afternoon, everybody.